Hi, I'm going to show you some custom animal rights clothing and hats that I designed. Um, first, we'll start off with the hats really quick. Um, I ordered most on Zazzle. I found coupon codes online. I got these hats that I custom designed for only about $7.50 each on a big sale, 50% off. Um, feel free to use any of these ideas. But I like Zazzle Morning Cafe Press. Their interface is just really good. Um, although their approvals department kind of sucks. Anything graphic, they will not allow. They're very particular about copyrights. Um, as you saw in this hat that says, Unfunk the World. I had asterisks there and they wouldn't approve it because had asterisks and they thought it was a curse word. Um, here's some other ones I designed. Veganbodybuilding.com. This one was, uh, I didn't design, I actually got that from IDA. Um, and feel free to pause at any time if you want to see them closer. You can wear these on the way to work or on the subway or if you live in a city. And the War on Animals. Daring them to hunt instead of hiring hitmen. Um, again, pause it if you need more time to see them. Good first step, going vegetarian or vegan. This one I have a matching shirt for, just like my shirt and hat I'm wearing now that are matching. Cavemen still eat and wear animals. <laughs> I also have a matching one here for this, and overpopulation ones. these ones. So that's most of the hats. Now let's go to the shirts. And here's the back. Now Zazzle wouldn't even let me use that Kenneth Williams, the guy with the chick on his arm anymore. Even though it's a non-profit and nothing is copyrighted, they wouldn't let me use that. So that's how particular they are. So Cafe Press is better about free speech too. I also got these wristbands at ReminderBand.com. You can custom design. I ordered them in bulk, a hundred, and I gave out a bunch just because uh, they were only about a dollar fifty. Uh, if you order them by the hundred, but like fifteen dollars if I only ordered one, so I just gave them out. Um, now Zazzle would not print out that one because it was graphic, as you just saw. Now this one, I forget where I got it from, Allied Shirts, I believe. I do not like it. It is not screen printed, which means it will eventually crack. Screen printing is where it's actually embedded into the mesh of the shirt. Like what I'm wearing now, there's no, there's nothing that can ever crack. This is actually a sport tech breathable shirt, and I actually like this style because of that on Zazzle. But this one uh, is a regular fabric, and this one is actually into the fabric as well. So look for screen printing, not like the iron-on. Um, so, just uh, I'm going to show you quickly a bunch of my shirts. I really like this one. I have a matching hat too. Again, a matching hat, the Eat Fewer Animals one. Good first step to going vegetarian. And it also talks about how many birds. We should focus on birds. Mostly about 37 land animals per year. 35 are birds. And then people eat many fish. So I cover the fish a little bit on the back too. Trawler nets and stuff. Um, strong or weak herbivores being ironic. Again, with the human overpopulation, got some animal eyes and footprints. Again, 
again, this is embedded into the shirt. Here's another one. Now, pins are also good because you can wear them anytime. Put them on your jacket or your hat on your way to work or whatever. Um, these obviously can only be worn on your own time. But wristbands also can be worn anytime, the silicone wristbands. A secret recipe, kind of like their secret sauce. And I have a matching hat of this one too. I also have a couple that um, are not printed up yet. One is a skeleton and it says vegan sense or V-E-G, veg, asterisk A-N. So it can go vegan or vegetarian. Sense. And you can put the date that you went vegan. Um, and it has a skeleton saying, still waiting on a good excuse. And this is my old motorcycle. Still waiting on a good excuse to eat or wear animals. The skeleton kind of being a joke, like we haven't heard one yet. And mine says Ben Veg, Veg asterisk A-N, since 2002. And obviously I'm not dead yet. <laughs> now this one just talks about um, how TV commercials lie. I actually think they should be sued. for showing Red Barn Family Farms when we know that Nearly all birds, especially, come from factory farms. Yet TV commercials show nice family farms. And that is a complete lie. And free range is also a myth um, in many ways. There's no regulations or oversight. Fish do not get enough attention. But this one's supposed to be funny. It's good to have a sense of humor. Say no to pot. But yeah, with 7 billion people in the world, free range is impossible. It's simplest just to leave animals alone. I had to draw this one up myself, actually. <laughs> Cannibal animals, vegan zombies eat grains, not brains. <laughs> and bird feeder, Some you'll know, see grandma feeding the birds in the bird feeder, but then being a bird eater. <laughs> Makes no sense. Just like having pets, caring for pets, and then not caring about a pig, which is just a smart. Again, you might be able to find some of these designs on Zazzle. I saved them on Zazzle so other people could order them. But if not, you feel free to steal any of these ideas. I don't care. Again, you can pause it if you want to see it. This is an overlooked issue. And here's the reasons. few more, not many more. Getting down to the sweatshirts, actually. I respect all species and the war on animals. Sea species is more than pets and meat. And that's a chicken's eye ball. Pretty. Check mark, good. X, bad. Birds on the front. Pigs on the back. And I also have a funny shirt um, that shows someone sucking from a cow's udder and says, Stop sucking! Um, a woman sucking from a cow's udder. Zazzle wouldn't print that off, so I had it from Cafe Press. And then I have also one show up talking about the world hunger solution, how most of our crops feed four spread animals. And it's being facetious, saying, Yeah, vegans only care about animals. When really, simply leaving animals alone is the best thing for humans. I served in the Peace Corps, and I help more people by simply leaving animals alone. Food waste takes about 16 pounds of crops fed to four spread animals for just one pound of meat in return. While people go hungry. Now this is supposed to be like a mirror image, before and after terrorism. And it says, slaughter is not the worst part. Most people think slaughter is the only bad part. Look up a factory farm video, like meatvideo.com by Mercy for Animals. Slaughter is not the worst part. That's supposed to be a mirror image. I had to order this one on Cafe Press, because Zazzle thought it was too graphic. They're like PG-10 on that site. If it wasn't for the good design and interface, I would never use them. 
Um, BV gun. So it's be funny. Have a sense of humor. And then on the back of that other shirt, I have an Einstein quote that nothing will benefit human survival. It's the evolution of a vegetarian diet. The one that shows world hunger on the front and starving children, white and black. There's one in six Americans struggle with hunger, I believe. Children, while most of our crops feed four spread animals inefficiently. And this one looks like blood. Cavemen still eat and wear animals. Kind of like the shirt I have on now. And then the front, vegan future. So it shows the future and then the cavemen with the blood all over their hands. Or hiring hitmen. They may not have the blood on their hands directly, but they're hiring hitmen to terrorize animals for them. Revolution, evolution. And this one's kind of funny in the back. As the planet says, help overpopulated people. <laughs> yes, as I showed earlier, it's a big issue. There's just another funny one that's cute. Like the I suspect foul play. <laughs> and in the back, has some superhero stuff because vegans are superheroes. And then a B V gun. <laughs> Squirt gun. So again, take any of the ideas you want. Um, wristbands, pins, hats, bumper stickers. Um, you can design them all on Cafe Press, Zazzle. Many of my collections are saved there. I don't care if you steal any idea. Um, build a sign for signs, um, speedy signs, they're also great. So thanks, and check out Factory Farm videos, meatvideo.com, veganoutreach.org, adoptacollege.org, volunteer near you. You can reach thousands in a day at a college near you. You don't need to be a student by just simply handing out good, informative Factory Farm booklets. Again, adoptacollege.org, by veganoutreach.org, veg fund vegfund.org for pay-per-click ads and the Humane League. And again, meatvideo.com by Mercy for Animals on Factory Farms. Please share. Thank you.